Bollyland Early Keyboarding Software. Play and learn with the key games. Hi, this is Via Damsma from SonoKids. In this tutorial, I will explain the use of the so-called key games, which follow the Any Key Goes entry level of the Bollyland Early Keyboarding Software. The Bollylanders are five ball-shaped characters who live in Bollyland. They feature in the Bollyland apps for iPad, and as shown in another tutorial, in the Any Key Goes level, their images and signature sounds are produced by pressing the Enter key, the Escape key, Spacebar, and left and right arrow keys. These same five keys come back in the so-called key games of this program. In each key game, only one such special key is used, while all the other keys on the keyboard have been deactivated. They don't make the sound anymore and they don't do anything else either. Children with impaired motor skills can play the key games with single switch access, where the switch is set to emulate the one active key in each key game. Most of the key games also have settings that you can adjust to suit individual needs and skills. For instance, you can give the child more time to respond or make the game move faster or slower. The key games are fun, simple, interactive games. They also help children who are blind, perhaps even subconsciously, learn to conceptually understand how these particular keys work. In the future, they may need to use these keys when they learn to navigate and control the computer by way of screen reading software. This aspect of the key games hopefully becomes more clear when I go through them next. But remember, these are games and children should just have fun playing them. Key Game 1, Spacebar Key Game, also known as Bollycopter Flies. Find Bollycopter's key on the keyboard from any key goes, that means the spacebar. The special shape and size of the spacebar, as well as its location at the bottom of the keyboard, makes it quite an easy key to find and use. This is the only active key in this game. When it starts, Bollycopter, the little red helicopter, flies high up in the skies of Bollyland. You press Bollycopter's key, so the spacebar, to make him land, and press spacebar again to let him take off again. Listen out for the animals that meet him when he lands. They're hiding in the long grass. If you are in luck, you will hear the duck. Try to find as many ducks as possible, and try to count them if you like. I will now give you a short demonstration of this key game. I'll use the tab key. Level 1. Any key goes. Press level 2, Polycopter's Spacebar Game, press Enter to select. Key Game 1, Polycopter Flies. There he comes. I press the Spacebar. Okay, not a duck. So then I press the Spacebar again and he'll take off again. In the settings of the spacebar key game, you can adjust how fast Bollycopter moves over the screen. When used with screen reader assistive technology, pressing spacebar means toggle on or off, select or unselect. For instance, pressing spacebar can check or uncheck a radio button that is in focus, that is a sort of control in a form. So this is why this game uses the same key the spacebar to, to make Bollycopter land and take off again. It's just another concept, but otherwise it's just a great fun game. This short video shows a young girl who is blind enjoying Bollycopter's key game. She presses spacebar a number of times to make Bollycopter lift off and land. Every time she listens to hear which animal sits in the grass where Bollycopter has landed. Finally, she finds what she was looking for. They're very noisy. No! I've got a horse! Oh. What is it?
trying to find a duck. Yes! <laughs> well done. Woo! Did you find a duck, Natasha? Yes! Key game two. The escape key game, or also known as Babaloonie on the train. You need to find the escape key, which was Babaloonie's key in the Any Key Goes game. And that is the only active key in this game. Babaloonie goes on a train ride. The train pauses at every station. When it has come to a complete stop, you can press Babaloonie's key. By pressing this escape key on time, Babaloonie will get off the train. Then a new ride will start automatically. If you prefer not to press the escape key this time or if you press it too late, Babaluni will continue his train ride. The train runs in a loop, so you can play as long as you like. Um, I will give you uh, an example of this. I will show you how it works. Level 1. Any key goes. Level 2. Polycopter's space bar game. Level 3. Babaluni is on the train. Key game 2. Babaluni is on the train. Next stop, Dog City. Dog City Station. Rest now or wait for Chicken Town. Welcome to Dog City. Thank you for traveling with Polyland Railways. Ready for a new ride. Starting at Dog City. Next stop, Chicken Town. Chicken Town Station. This time I won't press the key. Press now or wait for Dock Pond. <whistles> Next stop, Dock Pond. Dock Pond Station. Now about the main menu, it's normally self-voicing. Uh, so then it talks to you the whole time. But you can turn that off by going to the general settings of the main menu with your mouse, if you can use the mouse and you don't need the self-voicing menus. And there you can turn the self-voicing on and off. So I've turned it off now and I'll go back to the main menu and I'll, I'll talk to you about the key game three. Enter key game or Tinkle Ball is on a roll. You need to find Tinkleball's key from any key goes on the keyboard. That's the enter key. This is the only active key in this game. Tinkleball with her little bell on her head rolls around Bollyland. She stops when she comes to a door and then knocks on the door. Listen carefully so that you hear what is behind the door. Then press Tinkleball's key, the enter key, if you want the door to open. If you decide not to press the enter key or if you press the key too late, Tinkleball will continue to roll until she comes to the next door. And you can play as long as you like. So let's try the enter key game. I'll use tap to go through and come to the enter key game. And then I'll start the game. So here she comes rolling along. Welcome. This is the bathroom. Press Tinkleball's key to open the door. Press the enter key. Thanks for dropping by. Now it's, this is moving too slow for your student. You can adjust this in the settings of this game. So you can set how fast Tinkle Ball moves. And you can also adjust the response time to the knocking on the door so that the child has a little bit longer to decide whether or not to press the enter key or just the effort to, to press the enter key takes longer. So let's set uh, how fast she moves to a higher speed. I put it on to 10 now. I will come back and she goes a lot faster. Hi, 
This is the kitchen. Press Tinkle Ball's key to open the door. See you some other time. So if you don't press, there's a clock ticking and then she'll move on. Okay, key game four. Squeaky prefers quiet or the left arrow key game. So you need to find Squeaky's key or the left arrow key, arrow key, which is the only active key in this game. When used with screen reader assistive technology, pressing the left arrow key may mean that you make the sound softer, you move backwards. And in this game, you start from where Wheelie is. Squeaky has a soft voice, and so he doesn't really like loud noise. Every time you press the key, the Squeaky's key or the left arrow key, the music gets softer. In fact, instruments are being taken away to, Im to improve this effect. And you can press the key until you reach Squeaky. Then you will hooray, hear hooray, and you have arrived. Then the game starts again. If you wear stereo headphones, you will actually hear the sound move to the left when you press uh, uh, Squeaky's key, the left arrow key. And you can also ask the child to hear which instruments disappear one by one. So let's give this a go. Level 1. Any key goes. Level 2. Polycopter's spacebar game. Level 3. Babalooni is on the train. Level 4. Tinkleball opens doors. Level 5. Squeaky's left arrow key game. Press enter to select. Key game 4. Squeaky prefers quiet. Oh, very loud. We'll make it softer and we move to the left. I press the arrow, left arrow key game again. Press the left arrow key game again. And one more time. Now we'll do key game five, which is the right arrow key game, also called Wheelie Likes It Loud. Then you need to find Wheelie's key from any key goes, which is the right arrow key and the only active key in this game. It's the opposite from the previous game that we showed you. Um, so now you start again from where Squeaky is and Wheelie loves, loves loud noise. Now the last time actually you started where Wheelie was with the loud noise and now you start where Squeaky is with his soft voice. But Wheelie, the, 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 the car who is very noisy himself, he loves loud noise. And every time you press Wheelie's key, the right arrow key, the music gets louder, an instrument will be added. And you press the key until you reach wheelie and hear hooray and it starts again. And used with screen reader assistive technology, pressing the right arrow key may make the sound louder and you may move forward. And that's how, why, what we wanted to simulate with this game. But it's just a fun game to use the arrow keys and find them and locate them and remember them. Um, and again, when you wear stereo headphones, you can hear the, the effects much better. Okay, we'll skip that one because it's basically the opposite of the other one. And, and then there is the next one, uh, that is the two arrows key game. And in the two arrows key game, that's the only key game uh, where two active keys are uh, working at the same time. Both the left and the right arrow key are active and enabled. Um, and Squeaky wants the music softer, and every time you press uh, the left arrow key game, the left arrow key of Squeaky, uh, the sound gets softer. And Wheelie loves the loud, uh, loud sounds because his engine is louder. And every pr time you press Wheelie's key, the right arrow key, the sound gets louder. Uh, so then you move between the two, and you can play. Uh, with uh, the uh, concept of louder and softer. Uh, you can actually ask a child, when do we use our soft voice? When do we use our loud voice? When is it appropriate, like in the library or in the classroom or in a noisy environment? Um, you can use these concepts of loud and, and soft noise and also how things sound very soft when they're very far away. But when they come towards us, they become louder. 
these are concepts that can be discussed uh, in, a, in a result of this uh, game with the, the loud and the softer, uh, the, the left and the right arrow keys. And then finally, we have the sun game. This is the grand finale. You can recap what you've learned with this while the sun sets over Bolly Land. The Sun game combines mini versions of each of the key games. You need to listen carefully to the story and press the correct keys when asked to do so. And note please that unless the child presses each key at the correct time, the game will not continue, so please provide help if needed. With this game, you can basically assess the keys that the child has learned. Children should be able to do this game better and better. And the Sun song is a great finale to their play experience in Bollyland. So let's go and give it a go. Level 8. The Sun Game. The Sun Game. Bollycopter flies through the skies of Bollyland. Press Bollycopter's key so that he can return to the basket in which all the Bollyland is lived. Hmm, so do you remember what was Bollycopter? Now press spacebar. Ah, thank you, okay. You found Bollycopter's key. Bubbalooney is on the train. It's getting late. Press Bubbalooney's key so that he can go join Bollycopter in the basket. Hmm, I don't remember. Was that the enter key? Let me try. Now press no. the escape key. Oh yes, what was it? I'll find the escape key. You found Babalooney's key. Hooray! Hey, now comes Tinkle Ball. Good day. This is the basket. Press Tinkle Ball's key to open the door. I remember that one, the enter key. You found Tinkle Ball's key. Hooray! While Tinkleball is now asleep in the basket, Squeaky is out bouncing in the rain. Press Squeaky's key to move him to the basket and make the rain stop. Left arrow key. You found Squeaky's key. <coughs> oh, and here comes Wheelie making so much noise with his engine. Press Wheelie's key to move him to the basket. You found Wheelie's key. Oops, no worries. I'm okay. Hooray! And while the sun sets over Borleyland, all the Borleylanders are now happily back together in the basket. Come back soon. It is time. The sun has set. But our story doesn't end In our basket We will wait Till you come back To Bolly Land To Bolly Land Well, I hope that this tutorial was useful to you and please contact us if you've got any questions.